a Chesapeake Bay staple appetizer. Hot crab dip. I'm going to show you how to make this super simple dip. So stay tuned. Welcome to the unofficial start of summer, otherwise known as Memorial Day weekend. And let me get my shout out out there very first thing. And this episode shout out is to uh, all those the veterans that paid the ultimate sacrifice to our country. Uh, without their sacrifice, uh, we may be speaking a different language, may not even be here right now. Um, so please, um, as you celebrate this weekend, remember those that uh, gave the ultimate sacrifice to our country. Now, on to what we're gonna be doing. And uh, you know, around, around these parts, the Delmarva, the Chesapeake area, you know, summertime, you're eating crabs, uh, uh, you're eating clams, and uh, one of the appetizers, probably the most prominent appetizers on any menu, and this is squeaking like big time, yeah, not good. Anyways, um, one of the most prominent appetizers on any menu in the Chesapeake area is hot crab dip. Probably my wife's favorite appetizer, I don't know. She's pretty big on Old Bay Wings too, but I think the hot crab dip is it. So that's what we're gonna be making today. A very simple, easy, whip it up in a few minutes, hot crab dip that just screams to Chesapeake Bay. So when I come back, I'll have all my ingredients laid out. We'll start getting this together and then we're gonna have some nice crab dip. So what goes into our crab dip? Well, I have one pound of lump picked over crab meat, and I've also gone through and made sure there's no shells in there. I've got one cup of mayonnaise, eight ounces of cream cheese, two teaspoons of Old Bay seasoning, and a half teaspoon of dried mustard. Also gonna have a splash of Worcestershire sauce, a splash of, uh, I'm using Old Bay in this case, a hot sauce, use your favorite hot sauce, doesn't have to be Old Bay. And uh, then I have some uh, shredded cheddar cheese for a topping. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going, I have some nice pita bread here that we had. So I'm gonna go ahead and grill some of this up and then cut it into wedges um, for dipping. And I also have some of these nice sweet snack peppers that I've cut in half, removed the seeds and the membranes, and I'm gonna put that on our platter as well. All right, first things first, go in here and put all my cream cheese in the bowl. I'm going to go ahead and put my mayo in the bowl. And then I'm going to go ahead and whip this again. Now if you have a hand mixer, it'd probably be a little bit easier. But I'm going to mix this by hand. And through the power and magic of YouTube and my editing software, we'll probably have this all whipped up in a jiffy. Now I'm going to go in with my Old Bay, my mustard, just a splash of Worcestershire, splash of hot sauce, Whoop. and we'll mix this. Alrighty, now I'm going to take my crab meat and I'm going to fold it into my mixture here. I'm not going to put all my crab meat. I'm going to probably reserve maybe three tablespoons of crab meat and you'll see what I do with that at the very end. So, in with our crab meat. And left about this much out to the side. Wash my hands. And now I'm just going to fold my crab meat into my mixture. I don't want to break up the crab and there you go into my baking vessel it's going to go actually before I do that I want to spray this so I'm going to give the bowl a nice spray you don't want this sticking to the inside Just 
This is just screaming, get me down to the shore. Flatten this out a bit. Alrighty, so I have my oven set for 350 degrees. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the oven for a total of 30 minutes. Now, after the first 15 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add some shredded cheddar cheese. And the very last two minutes, I'm going to take and add my crab to the very top, kind of like in the middle of my uh, crab dip. Give, make it look really nice, get the crab in there. And so that's what we're going to do. So into the oven for 30 minutes. And while that's baking, what I'm going to go ahead and do is going to toast up some of my pita bread here, which is basically just going to spritz this with a little bit of olive oil. And I have some seasoning over here that we'll put on top of that. And uh, we'll start pulling all this together. We'll be right back. Alrighty, so let's grill some pita bread. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pita bread, give it a spray of olive oil. Then I have a mixture here of about a half a teaspoon of uh, salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, a uh, half teaspoon of paprika, and a pinch of oregano. So all I'm just going to do is give this a little sprinkle. Then I'm going to do my other two. Give it another sprinkle. Box one. Yeah, a sprinkle. Now I've got my little flat top over there. I'm just going to go ahead and toast these off, put a nice little brown on them, and uh, then we'll come cut these off. Alrighty, way. look at this pita. Nice and brown, smelling really good. So all I'm going to do is take this, and I'm basically just going to cut this into triangles. This is going to be so good! And then, let's see, let's start uh, assembling our landing zone for our crab dip. Let's take the pita, we'll put some pitas over here, we'll put some pitas over here. We'll end up putting our crab dip there maybe, I don't know, we'll put some pitas here. Maybe we'll just surround it. There we go. What do you think, Lori? Is that going to work? Take some more peppers, we'll put some peppers here. And we'll put some peppers there. And maybe a couple peppers over here. I'm gonna end up with one pepper too many. What do I do with that one? I don't know. I guess we'll go here. There we go. So we have our landing zone ready for our crab dip. In uh, about uh, four minutes, I'm going to go ahead and put my cheese on my crab dip. And then with the last three minutes, I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, extra crab on the top. We'll be right back. Alrighty, 15 minutes in, I'm going to take about eh, a quarter to a third cup of grated or shredded cheddar cheese, sprinkle it around. There we go. Back in the oven, it's gonna go for another 15 minutes. Okay, remember that uh, crab that we held off on? So I've got about uh, four minutes left. So I'm gonna take some of this crab and put it right in the middle of our crab dip. Kind of garnish, kind of not, totally edible. There you go. So I'm gonna put this in the oven. Let it finish off for another four minutes and we should be ready to test it. And we're also gonna give it just a little sprinkle of Old Bay to finish it off, just for some more garnish and flavor. There we go. Okay, there you have it. I also wanna add that I went ahead and added uh, an extra two minutes onto the broiler, put a little nice browning on the top of that as well. So there you have it. I'm gonna go in and uh, get this a uh, taste. Alrighty. Let's go. I'm gonna try it with the pepper first. And uh, 
nice and light and creamy. Get a little bit of this cheese. And that's okay. I guess I better be a little careful with this. Mm-hmm. Chesapeake Bay. All summer long. This pita, we've got to go in with the pita. Now you could use Ritz, brisket, bread rounds, baguette, whatever you want. Today we're using pita. Mm. You gotta make it. Yeah, if you can't get down to Maryland, make it at home. If you do get down to Maryland, Chesapeake Bay area, and you stop in a restaurant, you gotta try out hot crab dip. That's what it's all about right here. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, share. Right over here, punch my logo. Don't break it though, and that'll uh, help you subscribe a little bit easier. So until next time, thanks.